guys, how are you? Do you want to get ready with me? you want to watch me do my makeup and talk a lot of shit? There's something in my eyeball. Oh, what a good start we are off to. I can't rub my eyes either because I have like, like the DIY lash extensions on so I can't. Not being able to rub my eyes is the worst part about being a makeup person. Like genuinely from the bottom of my heart, the worst part. Every single time I do my makeup, I have to just stare into my makeup bag like a fucking idiot because I can never remember like what order to do it in regardless of the fact that I do it almost every day. Trigger warning, big forehead. Oh, I forgot to turn off the furnace. It's like right here and it's so loud. Okay. I cannot believe that Thanksgiving has already come and gone and that it's already almost December. Like, what do you mean 2023 is already almost over? In the words of Smash Mouth, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. <laughs> this isn't a makeup tutorial, by the way. I have some of those if you want to go look at them, but this is just, we're just hanging out while I get ready. It's one, two, three, four. Do you see? I need a new makeup bag because this one is like, I don't know, the size is inconvenient and I just have to like dig through it. Have you seen that um, TikTok trend that's going around right now of those people showing their like super messy makeup bags and their like sink makeup bags? I feel really seen. A lot of people are like clowning on that trend and rightfully so because some people it's really bad but I really do feel seen. Mine isn't quite that bad but it's not great. Yes, I do do my eyebrows with glue every single day. Move on. Don't talk about it. I just put way too much glue in my eyebrows because for some reason I was thinking we were doing like a like a cosplay makeup video because I usually film those. And so I just put so much glue in my eyebrows, like way more than I wanted to, but it's fine. Oh my God, that's so deeply upsetting. I told you guys recently that I was breaking out for the first time since my cystic acne miraculously cured itself and I literally have no idea like how that happened and that I was scared that it wouldn't go away but that I thought maybe it was because I was putting so much face paint on for like Halloween videos and I do think it's clearing up so I do think it might have been the face paint which sucks because I do already have like a Christmas related video that involves face paint in my brain stay tuned for that and I'm really excited for it because I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, I have to sneeze. Nope, we're fine. I did sneeze while putting on my DIY lash extensions, and let me tell you, that was an alarming experience. You know what else is really weird? Have you ever sneezed and peed, like, while you were peeing? Oh, oh god, I'm running out of this, which is very upsetting because I used this one brown eyeliner for, like, four different steps in my makeup, so I'm gonna need more of this immediately. I think I want to dye my eyebrows, or at least attempt to dye them, because I feel like they're just like a shade or two too light for what I want them to look like, and so I think I'm gonna do that thing where people use beard dye to dye their eyebrows. So stay tuned for that. If it goes horribly wrong, then maybe you won't see me for a little bit. Maybe I, my face won't be in my videos for a minute. Or maybe I'll just wear a hat that like goes... It's officially stick season in Vermont and all I can think about is how badly I want to leave before the snow appears. And I know that I'm not leaving, I'm not going anywhere, but like... <laughs> I like the first snow because it's like the prettiest thing ever. And then I'll love it for the like first week that it's here and then I'm immediately over it. I want snow on Christmas and then never any other time at all. Like, I would really just prefer it if the snow melted directly after Christmas. That definitely went right in my eye. <coughs> and in my lungs. <coughs> I am next year, which is so alarmingly soon, but next year I am, I think, gonna spend a couple months in LA. Because I just need to get out of Vermont. But I want to experience the other coast before I commit to living on this one because I know that deep down I am an East Coast girly and I'm always gonna wanna come back to Vermont specifically, but I just wanna experience the complete opposite coast before I make that decision and stay in Vermont or leave the country. Those are my two, like, 
I want to live other places for some time, but I think like settling down in the long run, like I'm gonna want to live in Vermont or in a different country. Do you know what I mean? But I have to get out before I make the decision because I've lived in Vermont my whole life, so I feel like I can't commit to living here until I've experienced vastly different places. Do you know what I mean? But I just feel like, I don't know, claustrophobic about this whole state. Like I just feel so like stuck and boxed in just because I've been here my whole life and I just like really gotta try something else. Also, career-wise, I want to be an actress and a writer and I just feel like I'll have more connections and opportunities acting-wise in California than in Vermont. Also, I have friends in California that I've not met, like internet friends, and I would really like to meet them, so... Anna in her California era, question mark? There's hair in my mouth. I also have the thing about living in a small state and even a small town, it's just like everybody knows everybody type thing and I just like can't do it anymore at least for now like I just like it's I can't do it anymore I can't do that that's another thing dating apps around here are like useless useless not that I am dating um I just like playing hot or not on tinder um but it's like just people that I went to high school with, people like that my friends have been with, like it's just like it's not. But that's okay because I have commitment issues anyway. But also I refuse to date somebody from Vermont because you mean to tell me that there's like 7 billion people on the planet and my soulmate is from Vermont? Not likely. I don't really believe in soulmates though. I do believe in like the invisible string theory kind of, but I don't really believe in soulmates. I don't know, it's a whole thing. I definitely just touched my eyeball with the tip of that beauty blender, just like right in there. Speaking of commitment issues, I have these shark stickers. Somebody gifted them to me, I think. Sharks are my favorite animal. And I put them on nothing because I can't commit to putting stickers on something, so I think I'm gonna make, like, make that move today of conquering my commitment issues one little bit at a time and sticking some of those on my laptop. We'll see. <laughs> That's how calling my commitment issue sounds dramatic, but I really just have commitment issues in every area of my life, which is also why my room is not decorated aside from this wall, and you can't even really call that decorated, can you? That's not what I meant to do. Oh my god. I'm too far away from the mirror and I'm being far too reckless with my placement of everything because I can't really see. Because the lighting in here is also shit because I've mentioned this in other videos I think but if you've watched my other videos you wouldn't know that. So basically my big light, the bulb in it, has been blown for like many months and I'm not tall enough to fix it and every time my brother comes over, he's like six feet tall, I forget to ask him to fix it. And then I had a salt lamp in here, which is what I used a majority of the time anyway, because who the fuck cares about the big light? Um, but the bulb in that blue as well, so... And I just have to get ring lighted up anytime if the sun is down, or anytime I want lighting in here, because even with the sun up, the lighting in here is not good. Yeah, that's not the correct placement for my nose contour either, but we're gonna, we're gonna brush past it, we're gonna ignore it. That's the fun thing about my makeup, is that it looks different every time I do it, because I never do it correctly so I can't replicate it because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing like I never do my makeup the same way twice but it's that's not an aesthetic choice it's just like lack of ability user error and no matter how I do my makeup or what style I wear or aesthetic I wear even if it's like aesthetics I actually enjoy makeup styles I actually enjoy and like actually want to do I always feel like I'm cosplaying someone else no matter what like any aesthetic anything at all, no matter what I do, I always feel like I'm cosplaying someone else, and I do not know why. And I just feel like it's because I don't know who I am. That sounds like, we're getting deep, apparently, but I don't know, I just feel like I don't, regardless of what I actually like and enjoy, I just like don't know who I am outside of other people like I feel like my personality has been just like collected from like fictional characters and other people to the point where like even if it is actually things that I enjoy it doesn't feel genuine even if it is that doesn't make sense 
But regardless, I'm going to keep yapping. Um, and I also just feel like because so much of my life has been centered around like my mental illnesses and being mentally ill that like so much of my personality became like my mental illnesses like my anxiety my depression my eating disorder stuff like that that like without those things or like while attempting to be recovering from those things i don't know who i am outside of them well, this started about me being like, I don't know how to do my makeup, and now we're just getting, like, really deep into it. But, I don't know. I just feel like I'm on a journey to find myself outside of my mental illness and outside of, like, other people. Do you know? But I don't know how to do that, or who I am at all. So. That's why I change aesthetics every two weeks. <laughs> Again, because even if it's not like just following a trend and is me doing things it's, like because I genuinely like them, it doesn't feel genuine no matter what. And that's just like a silly, goofy thing about me. <laughs> anyway, let's change the subject. I don't know. A lot of my content is like mental health related, so I feel like it makes sense for me to talk about this stuff. But I also just feel, I don't know, corny talking about it. I can't tell. I feel like my nose contour looks insane today. Like, I just feel like that made my nose look bigger. Whatever. Thought I was fixing it, might have made it worse. My nails look not good. These are like my, my real nails with just like regular nail polish on them and it's chipped and it looks horrible and don't look at them, okay? Don't look at them. I really want to get into press-on nails I because I've tried press-on nails in the past and they always fill off but I've like learned more about the proper application of press-on nails but the thing is is I want to make my own press-on nails. I'm supposed to be getting ready while I talk. I can't multitask. I'm so sorry. But I want to get into making my own press-on nails because that sounds so fun and I have so many cool ideas so I've been like researching that and I want to get the supplies soon and then maybe if all goes really well, if I get really good at it, I could sell some. Have a baby bunny, baby be a millionaire. Have a baby bunny, baby be a millionaire. If you're wondering, that's the that's the TikTok audio that's stuck in my head today. That I will be pissing my brother off with because I often just repeat the same TikTok audio over and over again for entire days and I'm going to my brother's house today and he always gets really annoyed with me. Rightfully so, it is annoying, but I can't help it, so. He watches my videos sometimes, so let's see if he comments on that comment on him. I mention him in a lot of videos just to see if he watches that video or not. Because if he does, he'll either mention it in person, like mention whatever I say about him in person, or he'll like comment on the video. And that is how I know. But I feel like he watched my videos more in the beginning of my career than he does now. Career, that was crazy. Um, manifesting. But I think he, he used to watch my videos a lot more. Also, I feel like he watches the ones that he's in, because he's in some of my videos, um, mostly the baking ones. So I think he watches those, mostly because I sent him the link to those ones. Anyway, have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire. Oh my god, it's so exciting knowing that I don't have to do anything to my lashes because I already, they're already on there. Like, I get to skip that whole step. No mascara, no, like, strip lashes. Like, we're good. I have to burp so bad. I think something must be wrong with me because literally since I was a kid, and I'm not saying this in, like, a quirky, oh, I burp so much way, okay? Like, I'm not not trying to sound like that but basically i ever since i was a kid i burped far more than the average human being like i burp like every five minutes but they're usually like small ones that like you can't really hear if i keep my mouth closed but in general i just like burp a lot and then i've heard some people say that they don't burp at all which is outrageous to me because what do you mean i burp every five minutes and you've never burped in your life like that like i wish i was you Again, that sounds so pick me, like, uh, and I don't mean to sound corny and gross, but I just, like, feel like there must be something wrong with me in here. But I have no desire to get that figured out whatsoever. I'm a hypochondriac, like, severely a hypochondriac. Um, like, I have just severe medical anxiety, and, like, I always think I'm dying. And one year I went to the emergency room 18 times, and the doctor sat me down and was like, you've been to the emergency room 18 times this year and nothing was wrong, so, like, figure that out. And I cried because I was so embarrassed. But anyway, 
Um, and this manifests in two different ways, and that is one, going to the emergency room 16 times in one year, or two, having no desire to get anything checked out at all because I'm afraid they'll tell me that I'm dying. And like I get so scared to go to the doctors because I'm so sure they're gonna tell me that like I'm dying and something is severely wrong with me. I haven't been to the doctors in five years. I have a question for other hypochondriacs though. Did the show 1000 Ways to Die also ruin your life? Because it certainly ruined mine. I'm gonna ask TikTok that question too because like, as a hypochondriac, that show ruined my life. Like, I watched it really young, and now I'm afraid of everything, so. Lips, which I can't really talk while I do, because how do you talk while well drawing on your mouth? Look how teeny tiny. That is a lip liner. Can you tell that this is my favorite one? Makeup is such a fun trust the process thing because that objectively looks insane, but wait till I slap some aquaphor on it at the end, it'll look better, I promise. And if it doesn't, lie to me. This is very off topic, but do you guys ever see somebody and think, you're like me, but cooler. Like if we were Pokemon, you would be my next evolution. Does that make sense? Because I, that happens to me often. Like I'll see people and I'm like, you're my next evolution, like you are me, but do you know? Every time I'm done my makeup, I also just always, every single time feel like I'm forgetting something and so I just stare at my face for a really long time being like, what's missing? And I never know. So if I missed a step, that sucks. I think about jumping off of very tall some things. Also going back to brown hair was such a good idea. Like I thought I was gonna regret it and I thought that I was gonna hate it, and I don't. I don't hate it, and I don't regret it, and it was a phenomenal idea, and I love. I love it, I'm a big fan, okay? I'm super convinced, this is partially because I'm an extremely paranoid and anxious person, but I'm so convinced that my upstairs neighbors are gonna fall through the ceiling. Do you hear that? And that's them walking normally. When they're walking like heavily, it like literally sounds like they're gonna come through the fucking ceiling especially at night i don't know why they walk the loudest at 3 a.m but it's like horrifying and then every time they drop something i'm like it's really scary it scares the fuck out of me and it's always like right above my bed so when i'm like trying to fall asleep i'm like this is how i go they're just gonna i have so many like videos that are christmas related planned and i'm excited for those like holiday season planned and I'm excited for those, but those are all going to take place next month, obviously. But I'm already really excited about them. I have a couple video ideas that I've like had for a while, but I don't know whether or not to make them because I don't know if there's something that you guys would want. But then I'm also like, this is my channel. I should make videos I want to make, not the videos that I think other people are going to want to see because I'm doing this for me. But then also like, I don't want you guys to not like my content. But basically, one video that I thought about making is like my about like my teeth in relation to like eating disorder recovery and all of that like a whole thing about that because a lot of my content is mental health related and also like the reason a lot of my content is mental health related is because i want to make people feel less alone if they're going through the same things that i went through or am going through because i know that like when i was going through these things and even now i would have wanted a creator who was talking about these things in their experience so like that's why i do it so i feel like that would be a good video to make for people who are also going through that but then i'm also like i feel like a majority of my audience probably isn't but then you know you know i also there's like a story time that i kind of want to tell because if you don't know this is my second time doing youtube because i quit before because i got bullied out of it and i fully regret letting people bully me out of it because i was stupid and i should have stuck to it and i'm definitely sticking to it this time but um but when i did it before I told the story time about my house burning down, but further about how I think I know who did it and all of the reasons why I think that this person did it. And I kind of want to tell it again on this channel because like one, a couple more things have happened since then, and two, I just feel like I can tell it better this time around. So I kind of want to do that, but again, I don't know if like a story time or like something like that is something you guys would want. So let me know. 
But anyway, I'm ready and I guess I'll let you guys go get on with your day. I have to get on with my day, actually, also. I'm kind of running a little bit late and I do have like other things to do. Like I said, I'm going to my sibling's house um, and, and I have to edit this video. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for getting ready with me. Thanks for listening to me talk nonsense. It's been great and I will see you all next Monday.